Grace is the one, it is what gives us justification. No oh God, by grace. We come to know this God by grace. That's why the Bible says, it is not by your own works. This anyone should boast. We are saved by grace. It is the grace that qualifies a man. Well, if you look at that, so many of us will not be where we are today. If the Lord will count iniquity, look at the life of Apostle Paul, a man that stood against God himself. He stood against the gospel. He stood against anything that has to do with God. But the Lord brought him grace to be fished him out. That's why he's able to say, I am who I am by grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Grace justifies a man. So there is nothing anyone can say. I will know him. He used to be this. That's why Ananias, even the man of God, the prophet of God that God sent. He said, no, no, we have heard about this Paul. We have heard about him. Ah, he's a destroyer. Mm -hmm. He He's sent to go and capture Christians. He, maybe he's pretending. Maybe he's planning something else. But he said, look, I have an assignment for him. I have fished him. I have found him. And with someone grace deep with the life of Paul. A man that came last. He now ended up as if he was dead with them. But he was not dead. All his encounters is by revelation. He suffered so much for the gospel. And he became like he's the number one. That is what grace can do for a man. It can justify you. No matter the pit of sin you have entered. But it's not for us to continue living in sin. That is terrible. It is a terrible gospel that people are preaching today. Terrible gospel. Just continue. And we don't need grace has qualified us. Grace has finished everything. I can be committing sin tomorrow. Maybe if I'm about to die, I can just repent. That is a fallacy. It is a falsehood. It is a, it's a heresy from the pit of hell. That is not the gospel that we receive. It is not the gospel that we receive. I will continue. I can sing. I can do anything. You know, it is uh, the gift is there. I can just continue. I will brush myself. Go and commit immorality and then come on the altar. It empowers me. Then nothing will happen. No, that is wrong. It is a wrong teaching. It is a wrong message. It is from demons. It is not from the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is not. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So number one, I said, we are justified by grace. Number two, uh, grace is visible. Amen. Amen. We've heard from our brother in the prayers. The prayers are some everything for us. When a man carries grace, you will see it. It is visible, brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see quickly, very quickly. Acts 11.23. Grace is visible. Acts chapter 11, 23. Who when? Yes. Who when he came and had seen the grace of God was glad and, exhaust, and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. When he came, mm. where's? And he saw the grace of God. He saw the grace of God. He saw the grace of God. It is visible. It is a good spirit. The spirit of God is good. When the grace of God is upon a man, a woman, it will be seen. It is visible. Hallelujah. Amen. Even your enemies, they can see it. They know. They will see it clear. Your enemies, your friends, everybody will see that you are a carrier of the grace of God. They will see it because it is visible. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not hidden. And I pray that this grace will be visible upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Very quickly, lastly, I want to say grace. You can grow in grace. Mm, right. You can grow in grace. And uh, first Peter, second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Second Peter 3, 18. Mm -hmm. Yes. But grow in grace. But grow in grace. In the knowledge of our Lord and Savior in Jesus the Christ. In the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor you can grow in grace. You can grow in grace. Tell another person you can grow in grace. You can grow in grace. When a man is growing in grace, all you will see is results. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will see results. We say it is our mode of advancement. It is good for us to advance in grace through the knowledge. When you carry the Lord, you know much about the gospel. Nobody needs to tell you any other gospel. You increase, you are growing. <laughs> when the order is saying this way, you are saying, no, the scripture says like this. That's why Jesus was able to say it is written. There is nothing that can stand against that it is written. But when you don't have the knowledge of the word, what will you present? Hallelujah. You cannot grow. After 40 days of fasting, the devil came to Jesus Christ 
And it begin to tell him things. Oh yeah, bow down and worship me. Turn these stones to bread. Ordinarily, oh, somebody will say, hey, my victory has come. No, that is not victory. Hallelujah. That is a fall that is being programmed for the person. Hallelujah. But if you are a child of God that is growing in grace, you are knowledgeable with the word, you will be able to conquer any challenge. Your spiritual life will not be stunted. You will be growing. When you were like a baby, you know, you drink milk. It is time to eat bones. You grow. You don't remain where you are. You don't remain. It is the, it's the baby knowledge of, of the word of God that tells you that uh, once saved, ever saved. No. You know better. You grow in the grace. You know what the grace of God has been able to release for you. What the grace has come to do for you. What you can do through the grace. I pray that we grow in grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It means like we all prayed already, our level will change. We cannot remain the same as babies again. We cannot remain like people that want to be fed with milk. We cannot allow somebody to be telling us on the internet, this is what we ought to do. No, we don't need that because already we are growing in grace. In the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the embodiment of grace. He is grace in person. Grace personified. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, and so when this grace is upon your life, the growth, the grace, the grace that brings uh, growth. Hallelujah. Amen. You will find that when you are growing, you see, when they when they meet you yesterday, by the time they come back, they will see that God, this brother has changed, this sister has changed. With the way the level at which you operates, it means your level has changed. You will not remain the same. Things cannot just come and be discouraging you. Any small thing you are discouraged, you are feeling down. No, you are not growing in grace. But I pray today for you that you will grow in grace. Amen. Amen. You will grow in grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray that we enter a dimension of grace that will catapult us into the realm 